Dagon, the demon worshipped by Delilah. My dear friends, let's embark on a journey through a tale of ancient power, betrayal, and divine intervention. In the land of the Philistines, there existed a deity named Dagon, revered by the people as the god of fertility, agriculture, and fish. With his imposing figure, half man and half fish, he symbolized their hopes and aspirations. But little did they know that the power attributed to Dagon would be challenged, and his followers would witness the triumph of truth over deception. Our story takes us to a pivotal moment in the life of Samson, a man divinely chosen by the God of Israel to deliver his people from the oppression of the Philistines. But the Philistines, fearing his strength and fearing the liberation of their captives, sought to undermine him. It was through the cunning and enchanting Delilah that they believed they had found their weapon against Samson, for his weakness lay in his love for her. Delilah, knowing Samson's secret of strength residing in his uncut hair, relentlessly pressed him to reveal it. Three times Samson deceived her, but ultimately succumbed to her persistent requests. It was at this moment that the Philistines saw an opportunity to attribute Samson's defeat to their god, Dagon, thereby undermining the power of the god of Israel. As the Philistines captured Samson and brought him to their temple dedicated to Dagon, the scene was set for a battle between the divine and the human, the deception and the truth. Judges 16.23.34 recounts this climactic moment. Now the rulers of the Philistines assembled to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon their god, and to celebrate saying, Our god has delivered Samson our enemy into our hands. When the people saw him, they praised their God, saying, Our God has delivered our enemy into our hands, the one who laid waste our land and multiplied our slain. While they were in high spirits, they shouted, Bring out Samson to entertain us. So they called Samson out of the prison, and he performed for them. When they stood him among the pillars, Samson said to the servant who held his hand, Put me where I can feel the pillars that support the temple so that I may lean against them. In this pivotal moment, Samson, who had temporarily lost his physical strength, called upon the God of Israel for his strength to be restored. As he placed his hands on the pillars supporting the temple, he cried out to the Lord, Let me die with the Philistines. Judges 16.30 With a surge of supernatural strength, Samson pushed against the pillars, and the entire temple collapsed bringing destruction upon the Philistine rulers and their god, Dagon. At that moment, the power attributed to Dagon crumbled, revealing the frailty of their belief system built on deception and false worship. The story of Dagon and Samson teaches us powerful lessons about the consequences of deception and the victory of truth. It reminds us that the gods we choose to worship, whether tangible or intangible, will ultimately fail us if they are built on falsehoods. Only the one true God, who revealed himself to the people of Israel, possesses the power to overthrow the deceptions that entangle our lives. So let us take inspiration from this ancient tale and reflect on the gods we choose to worship in our lives. May we seek the truth, align ourselves with divine purposes, and find strength in the God who can topple the false gods we encounter. Just as Samson overcame the Philistines and their deceptive god, we too can triumph over the deceit that seeks to ensnare us. Remember, when faced with the allure of deception, stand firm in the truth. For it is in truth that we find our strength, and it is in the light of the truth that the gods of deception crumble before our very eyes. I pray that our hearts can be filled with the power of truth, and may the light of the one true God guide us on our journey of faith. It's my humble prayer. May God be with you till we meet again. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and sharing with your loved ones.